I want to introduce you to Vision Studio, part of Azure AI's offering. And it's going to show you what we can do nowadays and what's coming soon uh, with computer vision in the cloud. Here I am in portal.vision.cognitive.azure.com, which is a, a mouthful, uh, but I'll link to that in the description. And this is Microsoft's Vision Studio. It's a way of taking a look at what we can currently do and what's coming soon with vision in Azure in the cloud. Right. So we have some common things that we can do, you know, typically with images, such as uh, generating captions from images. They have a number of, of handy things here. So here's a picture of a guy with a surfboard and the description it generated was a man holding a surfboard on a rock. Oh, that's pretty nice. Now, this isn't just limited to uh, images from Azure. I can also upload my own images. For example, uh, my wife and I with our dog. And it says a man and woman holding a dog. Pretty good, pretty accurate. We can see the JSON that comes back for that. We can see the confidence it has in this and even the model that was specifically used to generate this, right? I can give this uh, images that are a little bit less standard, such as uh, this Halloween costume of mine from a, a number of years ago. And it says a man in the garment. And that's pretty cool. We can do all this stuff from you know C Sharp and uh, other things with the REST API and the SDK. And there's some plenty of samples as well. Um, but there's also some really interesting things that are coming soon. For example, dense captioning is something that is part of the newer uh, V4 API. And I can take that same image. And here, it's going to give me back a man in a garment. Well, that's the overall image. But it also says inside of this image is a man in a robe holding a staff. And then the chair with a black cushion. And then a sign, a clock, a pair of shoes, a purse. Now, I'm not sure I'd call that exactly a pink purse, maybe more of an orange purse. But it's able to detect objects in the image, which we have already with object detection. But within those objects, those little bounding boxes, it's actually able to generate a uh, just textual description of it, which is really cool. So there's a lot of stuff we can do inside of Vision Studio. Some of it is, you know, stuff that's currently it's been out there for a while, and some of it's the things that are that's coming soon. So I'd really encourage you to take a look at this and see what we can do with this. Um, you know, play with optical character recognition. They give you some examples, and it's a really good way of seeing how these models work, and even taking a look at the JSON that comes back that represents these things. Uh, I haven't played around with all these yet, but I think it's really amazing. Now. One note I want to give you is that it will push you to sign in, right? And as soon as you sign in, you're going to have to specify an Azure resource. And once you do that, well, the uses of this are going to get start getting charged against your Azure resource. Now, that's not very high, but if you're just taking a look at a couple of these things and just trying to understand the behavior of these, I'd actually recommend that you don't sign in unless you need to, right? Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. This is a, a nice resource to take a look at. I think it's going to change and evolve over time. Uh, and it's going to help you keep aware of all the things that are coming soon with Azure AI and Vision Studio. And even, uh, let's say, if we wanted to find out when people cross a line, you know, we can do that here. And now I guess we uh, release the dogs or <laughs> whatever we do. Um, I, this is what I actually haven't played around with too much. But if you are curious about it, you can actually go out and find the documentation and learn a little bit more about the spatial analysis APIs and the like. So really good learning resource in general. I'm very much a fan of this, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you do anything interesting with Vision on AI and Azure. Uh, but uh, stay tuned for more content.